welcome to the new Getting Started series of tutorials for the Vivo Authoring Tool. I'm Marie and over the next few videos I'll be putting together a quick course to show you how to get going with the software. In this tutorial we're going to have a look at how to get your course set up and just generally guide you around the layout of Vivo. So this is what you see when you first open up Vivo. You've got your course formatting options and customizations across the top, a preview window of what your course will look like here on the right, and you'll have a list of courses that you've created down here on the left. You can jump straight into setting up your course by clicking the quick start button, and this brings up a pop-up where you can quickly structure your course. So just going through, I'm gonna pop this into my tutorials folder and call it getting started with Vivo. It's going to be a short one, so I'm going to leave it at one chapter, but you can easily add more using the slider. From here, you've got the option to go straight into designing your first page. In this case, I'm actually going to click here so I can continue setting up my main menu. Now you see you've got your course in the list uh, with one chapter and there's one page that's automatically been added. You can add another page by clicking add page here and you get a pop-up which gives you the option to either add a blank page or use one of the inbuilt templates. I'm gonna stick with a blank page and press OK. Once you've got the structure of your course set up, you'll probably want to then give each bit a name. To do that, you just double click and type it in. I'm gonna call my chapter under the C, first page, meet tutorial turtle, can tell it's going to be a good one and then we're going to go swimming with the fishies. The next thing you can do is start customising the appearance of your course menu. If you come to, up to the course tab and in the background settings section you can change the colours or add an image. I'm going to select an image I've previously loaded into the, my library and press OK. Then you can just have a bit of a play with how you want it to look. I'm going to select um, none on the fit to page options and you can see it's looking pretty good. I'm then just going to change the colour of my buttons to coordinate with the picture so I'm going to go for a purple here. I'm also going to actually turn off the title for the course in the background appearance section. You can then take the customization of the look a little bit further by switching to the chapter tab where you can add images for your buttons too if you like and also adjust the size and layout of the chapter buttons which is especially good if you've got lots of chapters in your course. I'm just going to use the slider and make the chapter button into a bit more of a square. And that's really the basics of setting up your course and menu. If you do want to know more about any part of the software though, you can always click on these little help icons that are dotted around. And as you can see, you'll get a pop-up with a full explanation of what's going on there. Once you've pressed save just here, you're ready to start creating pages. So see you in the next tutorial.